this is the rusted willow and my name is tammy and if you like diys hauls flips and everything farmhouse you are in the right place today i am bringing you five high-end easy dollar tree summer diys so let's get into the first one i found this chippy it looks like a chippy board um at dollar tree and i love the finish i mean this is for 4th of July, I'm sure, but I picked it up and I'm gonna use it for this summer DIY. So I also found these ceramic, I can't even say that, ceramic planters, and um, I am going to add them onto this board. Now, I was thinking about gluing them and then I thought, nope, so I get them centered, I mark them with my pencil, and then I'm going to use my drill and drill two little holes in the board that I can use a cable tie to attach them to. So if I ever wanna take them off this board, if I hang it outside and um, it gets beat up or whatever, then I can reuse those little ceramic pots because they are super cute. Now I just attach it on the back side. So I feed the cable ties through the front from the back and hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And then I tighten it in the back and then I just cut off the excess of the cable ties. Super simple, quick and easy. I love the finish on this board. So you can keep this out all summer I mean, even though it has a star on it, it's totally fine. I love the chippy look of the board. And I'm just gonna add some succulents in there and I'll show it off in the final reveal. All right, guys, today is a special collaboration. Crafty Lini has agreed to collaborate with me and I am so excited she is fabulous. If you have not visited her channel, which I'm sure you all have, she does some amazing shabby chic DIYs. Everything and anything you could think of shabby chic. So I cannot wait to see what she comes up with for summer. So we are doing summer on our mind. And when I think of summer, I think of the beach. And so that's what I am doing. I hope you guys enjoy and we'll go over and visit her channel. I will have her channel linked down below in my description box. All right, guys, let's get back into these DIYs. DIY number two, I found these cute little frames at Dollar Tree and they look like shiplap and they had little clips on them. And when I opened up this package, that little clip just fell right off. <laughs> so I was like, okay, that's fine. I guess I won't use the clip on that one, no problem. So then I opened the second package and I tried to take the clip off and it wouldn't even come off. <laughs> I had to really pry hard to get it out of there. So one was made really well and one wasn't, but here we go. Okay, so I have those new paints from Waverly and I have posted them on my Instagram. If you have not seen them, please go over and visit my Instagram and check out those new paint colors from Waverly. They are gorgeous. I will list them down below in my description box so you guys will know what colors I used because I can't remember the names right off the top of my head right now. Um, okay, so I paint one of these little frames in this light blue color and I love it. I think it's called Dusk actually. And then I paint the other frame in this darker grayish blue color. It is beautiful and I think it's called Night Sky if I remember right. Um, but I will link the names of these paint colors down below. So I just gave them one coat because I wanted the wood grain to show through and I love how these turned out. And then I found these sand dollars and I found some starfish at Dollar Tree and I am just going to glue these onto those little frames and they will sit up because they have a little arm in the back which I love, but I thought these were so cute and so high-end looking. I mean, this is something that you would find at Pier 1 or Pottery Barn or Kirkland's or anything like that. 
and just so simple, just very, very simple. Hi guys, I wanted to hop on here and say thank you so much for your love and support. Um, I couldn't do this without you and I love, love, love what I do. So um, if you have not hit that subscribe button and if you have not rang that little bell, please do so because it helps my channel to grow and it helps you to put my videos out there for other people to see. Um, I just wanna say thank you for stopping by. If this isn't for you, I understand. Um, it, but if it is, I hope you stick around and join the Rust at Willow family. Thank you to my subscribers and welcome if you are new. All right, guys. I want to also say a thank you to Crafty Lini for agreeing to collaborate with me tonight. I am so excited. Um, she is gorgeous. And if you have not seen her DIYs and her channel, they're amazing. Like, she is so, so talented and beautiful. Um, I could use some makeup tips, Lini, like literally makeup tips. Um, anyway, so if you go over to her channel, I hope you will and let her know that Tammy sent you. Let's get back into these DIYs. All right, so DIY number three. I had this jar and it was pretty beat up. I've had it for years. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go spray paint it with this sea glass color. And it turned out super cute. Now, I don't know if I really like this DIY, so you will have to tell me what you think about it in the comments down below. But I think it turned out okay, pretty cute. Um, but it's not my favorite, I don't know. I just feel like it needs more or I didn't, do something right. I don't know. I'm just not, I'm just not feeling it. But I took the jar, I spray painted it with that sea foam or sea glass spray paint. And then I wrapped this nautical rope around the top and I tied it in a knot, which I thought would make it look more. And then I cut the sides down a little bit and then I unwrap it, which maybe I should have left it together. I don't know. But I unwrapped the nautical rope. And so I tie the nautical rope in a knot and then I start to unravel the ends. And then once I get them unraveled, I take a brush and brush them out. And then I cut them down. So I just continue to brush them out until I'm satisfied with how they look. And then I cut them down to where I think they will look the best. And I'm really brushing those out for a long time. Here we go. Okay. So I cut them down finally. And I thought I was going to braid them, but I didn't like how that looked either. So I unbraided it and brushed that side out again. And then I embellished the jar with a starfish from Dollar Tree. And I think it turns out cute. Although I'm not real fond of the color. Maybe I need to change the color. And then I can't decide on what kind of greenery to actually put in the jar. All right, on to DIY number four. Okay, this DIY I love. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I got this sign. Actually, I think my sister got this sign on super clearance, like probably 90% off at Hobby Lobby. I am using those same colors from Waverly. This is called Sandstone. And they're a new color that they came out with. And I am going to make this look like the ocean, but ombre. So I go around the edges and I paint the sandstone. And then I use that same beautiful blue color. I think it's called Dusk. 
Maybe not. I can't remember, honestly. Yes, it is called Dusk. I was correct. And then the darker blue is called Night Sky. So I just put all three of those colors inside of this shelf sitter and I just ombre the colors together. And I do paint around the edges on the side. And then I do go back and paint around the side in white. I do plan to make this a double-sided sign later on. So I will show how I finish this sign off on the back side, probably in my next video. But I love how this turns out. Okay, so once I get this all painted, then I picked up some of this willow from the Dollar Tree. And I don't know why my thumb is covering up the sign. I thought I showed you what it was called. Anyway, it's called Willow from the Dollar Tree. And it's so soft, like it's super soft. But to me, it looks like seaweed. So I am cutting some of these picks down to size and I am just going to put them inside of this framed, well, whatever it is, shelf setter sign. <laughs> and I'm gonna make this look like the bottom of the ocean, a bottom of the ocean scene. Super cute. Oh my gosh. So I just cut some stems off of this willow stem and then I glue them down inside of this frame. And I don't put too much. I make it still pretty simple. Sometimes less is more and sometimes more is more. I like it both ways, honestly, but I'm trying to make these look high end and so you don't want to overdo it. You want it to be a simple, clean design. And I love how this turns out. It is so cute. So, so pretty. So you'll have to let me know what you think if you like this or not. I tell you what, I am so ready to go to the beach. I am just, it's past time. Past time to go to the beach. I love summer because I love going to the beach. And it's always a vacation for us when we get to go to the beach because it's like 10 hours away. So, okay, so I have these teeny tiny little shells. I tore apart a shell plant holder that had thousands of these little shells. So I kind of have a shoe box full and um, I am using these teeny tiny shells to embellish this sign. Now I apologize. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm taking these tweezers and placing these teeny tiny little shells in this little picture that I'm making to embellish it, to make it look like the bottom of the ocean. And you will see in the final reveal how I place the shells. I think it turns out so, so cute. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. There you go. Now you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just placing the shells around the seaweed to make it look like, I don't know, seashells at the bottom of the ocean with some seaweed. So you have to let me know what you guys think. If you like it, if you don't like it. Do you like beachy, nautical, summer decor? What's your jam? I love this. I would turn my house into a whole beach cottage if I could. Actually, I probably can, but I haven't yet. <laughs> All right, guys, on to DIY number five. Hi, guys. Vivor sent me this Pro Easy Mug Press. Let me move my design. 
and it is a one touch design. It does come in these fancy fun colors. You can get it in black, teal, and red. They sent me a teal one, which is very pretty. There is no um, button to push down like there is on the other brand. You put your mug in there and it closes around it. Okay, so it just beeped, so it's ready to go. See, now it's lit up green. That tells me that it's ready to go. I've already preset the heat settings. It goes up to 320 degrees. It can handle a capacity of 11 ounce to 15 ounce mugs. Make sure you order the right kind of mugs. Don't just go to Dollar Tree. I went to Dollar Tree, got the tapered mugs. That didn't work very well. Um, I had to buy the infusible mugs off of Amazon. And so I actually bought the other brand. And if you buy the 15 ounce mugs, they actually come in gift boxes. Let me show you. Nicely wrapped. So you can design your mugs, put them back in the gift wrapping, the box, sell them, give them away as gifts, whatever you want to do. So there's that. I've already cut my design. Make sure when you are creating your design that you mirror your image. This is the flat side, so that has all the color in it. And this is the shiny side. This is on so I could get it centered on my mug. If you want me to go through a whole tutorial on how to infuse, use infusible ink on mugs, I can do that. But I feel like there's enough people out there that already have done that, that you probably don't want to watch me do it again. So that's why I didn't go through the whole process. So I am just putting this on here, centering it up. I was supposed to lint roll the mug, make sure there's no fingerprints or little hairs on it. So I didn't do that. So make sure you lint roll the rug. I gotta go get the lint roller. Okay, we're gonna do this again. So you don't wanna touch your mug. You wanna make sure that you lint roll it really good that you don't get your fingerprints or any lint on it. Make sure your design is right side up and it's pulled down super tight to the cup. I am using heat tape here to tape the edges down, but honestly, if my one side of the backing to this sublimation paper would have stuck down, you wouldn't need to use the heat tape. So now to put this in there, you just put it in there, slides down, and it closes around it. It's that simple. And then the light is flashing. Once all the lights are lit up, that tells you that it's almost done. And then when the lights are all lit up, it will release the cup and it will show that it is complete. Now we have to wait for this to cool and then we'll reveal the design underneath. I'm so excited to see what it looks like. It's my first mug. Hopefully I didn't ruin it. <laughs> While our mug cools, let's talk about the machine a little bit. So it has five temperature settings and five timer settings. To turn it on, you press the button and it will turn to orange. I just had it on, so it's probably hot. But to set the temperature, you hold the button for six seconds. So you hold the button for six seconds when it's on orange, and then you can set the temperature anywhere from, I think, 185 degrees to 320 degrees. And then you wait five seconds. Once you've chosen the preferred temperature you wait five seconds for that setting to set and then you hold it again for six seconds and then the green light will come on and the green light is what sets the timer and you have five timers it goes from 60 seconds to 120 seconds let's see if my cup is ready to look at oh it is look at that Oh, it's still hot, still hot. 
Okay, so I obviously didn't get it very tight here on this edge, but look at this side. Love the, oh, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> I keep saying that. Duh, it's hot. Anyway, that's awesome. Look at that. Resting beach face. That's what I want. I want a resting beach face. Don't we all? Ooh, look at that. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Not bad for my first time. I do say so myself. So this is total a total win. And I want to thank Fever for sending me this mug maker. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, let's talk about price. This will run you about $130, but right now they have $22 off. I believe it's listed online for $129. So you can get it under $130 on Amazon all day long. Um, also Cricut, the other brand, will run you $189. Now sometimes you can get that on sale at Joann Fabrics, but right now this is their new release and so things are not gonna be on sale. So you can pay the, a little bit more for the other brand, or you can pay about $100 and get the One Touch Pro Easy Mug Press by Fevor. All right, guys, that's all I got today. I will be doing more of these mugs coming up in the future. But right now, I'm gonna go enjoy my, my new mug. And just remember, Make sure you get those edges down good so it doesn't do that. But I kind of like the fading, actually. I wish it would have done the same thing on this side. So I got a straight line and I got fading. I like the fading. How about you guys? Let me know in the comments. Do you like the fading or do you like the straight line? <laughs> you can also do different designs on the edges too. But this is my first mug. So easy to do. Um, first time working with infusible ink, any kind of sublimation mugs, anything like that. So first time. And I think I got it. That's gorgeous. Resting beach face. Yes. I want to thank Lini again for joining me in this special collaboration. It was so much fun and I really appreciate her collabing with me. If you guys have not gone over and visited Crafty Lini, make sure you do so. I will list her channel link down below in my description box. And like I said, she does a lot of shabby chic and super, super cute DIYs. And she's a beautiful lady, super sweet inside and out. Now let's get to the final reveal. Let me know what you like down below in the description box. And I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend and stay tuned for the bloopers. All right, guys, talk to you later. See you soon. All right, guys. So I made this beach sign on a live with Connie at Connie's Creative Creations. So if you want to see how I made this beach sign, you can go over there. I will link Connie's channel down below in my description box. But I had a lot of fun on that live. I will also put that live in my community tab on YouTube. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed these DIYs. And don't forget to go over and visit Crafty Laney. Tell her Tammy sent you, and y'all have a great weekend. Bye, guys. Oh, I look all shiny. Mm. Okay. Wake up. I need some lip gloss. Glue is not going to help me. Okay. My husband's a creeper. All right, guys, I just wanted to hop on here and say thank you so much if you made it through this video. 
and I love you all. I hope you have a fabulous weekend and don't forget to go over and visit Leanie over at Crafty Leanie and uh, let her know that Tammy sent you. All right. And again, thank you, Lenny, for agreeing to join me tonight. And um, it was a lot of fun and I can't wait to see what you made. All right, guys, I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Take care. And if you like this video, here's some more that you might like as well. Or maybe they're over here. I think they're over here. If you like this video, here's some more that you might like as well. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.